Does your system data take a whole bunch of gigabytes from your file system? Mine too. Here's how you can fix that. So as you guys can see on my end, it takes up 220 gigabytes out of my one terabyte, which is absolutely insane. And the reason for that is actually because the applications that you use have this type of data called cache. This cache helps your applications open faster, render, load faster, etc., to save you time. But we technically don't need the cache files since the applications themselves will rebuild them. So I'm gonna show you how to erase that. Step number one, make sure to go ahead and click the little squiggly line slash library, and you're gonna put that in the search bar. So in your top right search bar. Next, you're gonna find that folder, click enter. Here's your library of your computer. Really want to only touch caches. This is the only file system we're going to be touching today. I'd recommend do not touch anything else, especially if you don't know what you're doing. Technically, for all the stuff in the cache folder, not the cache folder itself, but everything in the cache folder, you can erase. I like my applications to load, render, and do their things a lot faster, so I'm not gonna erase all the cache. So for example, a lot of editors who use Adobe, Premiere, any sort of video editor, they usually have tons of cache files. So for example, let's say we wanted to get rid of Adobe InDesign, if we press command I, we can see that it takes up 242 megabytes of our data. All you have to do is make sure InDesign itself is closed. Before you erase any form of cache, make sure the application is closed so that one, your data will be saved beforehand, and two, it won't corrupt whatever file it is that is open while you're erasing the data. So once we go ahead and do that, press command D on the, the folder. And again, make sure it's inside the cache folder. You guys can check if it's on the arrow, underneath the arrow. Click, command, delete, and it's gone, right? That's not all. You have to erase it from your trash bin. So once you're on your trash bin, right click on the trash bin, click empty trash. That's basically all for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Please be sure to tell your friends about it and leave a comment down below if it did work for you. Thank you guys very much. Have a good one. Peace.